State leaders say they're taking action after an 11 Alive News investigation first revealed a cancer mystery in northeast Georgia. In six neighboring counties, thyroid cancer rates are far exceeding state and national averages. Investigative reporter Savannah Levins is now pressing health officials and legislators for answers. These neighboring six counties have had the highest rates of thyroid cancer for nearly two decades. Uh, a lot of these families, they're, they're looking for answers. Through the mountains, winding roads, and close-knit neighborhoods of northeast Georgia, word spread. I need to know what's causing this. What do I need to protect my kids against? Jessica Neal lives in Hall County, one of six counties with unusually high thyroid cancer rates over the last 15 years, double the state average or more. That kind of took a second to like process it. She's one of 56 thyroid cancer patients from those counties who reached out to 11 Alive News Investigates following our initial report. It's too many, way too many. Sabrina Gooch is another. What's going on in just this area? We mapped those patients' homes and locations they frequently visited and found some commonalities. The clusters along the same roads. Gooch was diagnosed with an aggressive thyroid cancer variant called hobnail. They just said, well, it has to be environmental. I started thinking, what have I eaten? What am I breathing? What have I done to myself? Through people like you, maybe somebody can find a reason that we're getting it. We don't want to turn a blind eye to it or pretend like it's not happening. I want to know the cause. Lee Hawkins is the state representative for a large portion of this area and is the chairman of the health committee. You brought to me the, the information. We will study this and we will find if there is an environmental solution or a cause. But the Department of Natural Resources tells 11 Alive the agency, along with DPH, decided not to do a study because there's no known source in Northeast Georgia of radiation, which they say is the only known environmental cause of thyroid cancer. They have a duty to help with an investigation. But legislators from the area say they're not giving up. This is new and news to a lot of us. Senators Bo Hatchett and Steve Gooch, Representatives Lee Hawkins, Matt Dubnick, Emery Donahue, and Will Wade, all expressing concern over the data, now joining forces to advocate for and potentially fund research. Whether it's private business, again, public or private universities who may help from a uh, research standpoint. These are people that, that deserve some kind of answer. All as the dots on our map continue to grow, each representing a story like Jessica's. You still get scared because you have kids, you know, you don't know what's going to happen. And that's the scary part of it. A life changed forever like Sabrina's. I hate that other people have it, but it's a community of people now that can at least collaborate. There is hope, you know. Savannah Levin, so Levin Alive News Investigates. Now, several doctors and public health experts reviewed this thyroid cancer data and every one said it warrants an investigation despite DPH and DNR's decision not to do one. All right, so to explore our in-depth coverage, download the 11 Alive Plus app to watch on your TV for free. And if you have a tip for 11 Alive News Investigates, reach out right now. You can call Savannah and the rest of the investigative team at 404-873-9111 or email us at investigates at 11alive.com.